Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week, New York Governor Kathy Hochul has extended the state's mask mandate for at least another 10 days while the state appeals court decides whether it's legal. The mandate covers stores, businesses and any building open to the public, including schools. But a group of parents whose children attend Northern Adirondack Central School in Ellenburg, New York, staged a protest this past week, saying the decision of whether to wear a mask should be up to them and their kids, and not the state or school districts. We're not going to be disruptive. We don't want to cause issues for anyone. We're just here to give our children a choice. Like we said, we, we both have children some want to wear masks, some don't. Just like adults, some want to wear them, some don't. It should be a choice. As buses dropped off students at Northern Adirondack Central School this past Friday, a small group of parents and their children gathered and walked together to the main entrance of the school, where they were met by the school's principal. Hey, if your kids are here for school, you know they have to wear a mask if they want to come in the building. We will not mask our children. Okay. Kids aren't getting new masks, they choose not to wear them. Okay. Um, those, well, those are the rules on campus, and I have to start my school day, so. We're if done. you choose to deny them, we, we won't be waiting. Yeah, for I don't have anything in writing. writing. Mr. Knight is a chief information officer, and you can get that from him. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Mr. Knight is James Knight, the school superintendent, who sent out a statement later saying the district will continue to follow the state education and health department's requirement of mask wearing in schools. I just find it outrageous how we still have to do it. Some students, like Leah Manor, say they are happy to see their parents taking a stand because they say being forced to wear a mask is more than just a nuisance. I have gotten asthma and lung problems. I never had asthma and lung problems before all of this and now I have to use an inhaler. I had and still have asthma and lung problems and it makes it 10 times worse to where I have to sit in the bathroom for three to five minutes in order to breathe or I feel like I'm going to pass out. It's uncomfortable. It's hard to breathe in most of the time. However, other students say they plan to continue to wear their mask even if the mandate goes away. Well, I think I definitely will wear it because I want to be safe and protect my family especially like my grandmother, who is like very susceptible to the illness. So I think since it is spreading so easily, I will go and wear it. And I think other people should too. As for the students who were turned away at the door. I really appreciate all the parents and the kids that are sticking up for what we're doing right now, because a lot of kids don't really want to wear these masks and a lot of them do. And we should honestly just get the choice if we should wear them or not. We know this was the outcome. We knew they weren't going to let our children in the school. So what's the next step? The next step is getting paperwork and doing this the legal way. And the parents say they may challenge the mask mandate in court. It is a constitutional issue. Um, it hasn't gone through the legislature uh, properly. And we got agencies throughout the state basically making up rules and mandates. and. Um, you know, we can't have that. 